Gene Cernan, Boilermaker and the Last Man to Walk on the Moon, died this month at the age of 82. To learn more about Captain Cernan's legacy at Purdue and beyond, Fast Track sat down with the director of the Purdue Archives, Sammy Morris. So Eugene Cernan was born in Chicago. He, en he enrolled at Purdue in 1952, and he began studying electrical engineering here. Um, he entered the Navy ROTC, and he was very involved in that. He um, was editor-in-chief of their yearbook, but he also was editor-in-chief or an, an editor of the Debris, the general Purdue University yearbook. We were also able to see some of the artifacts that Cernan left behind in hopes of inspiring young minds. This is a group of other astronauts that, he, that were part of the, the class of astronauts that he was selected in. And this is him here at the front on the left. And here we have a photograph of Cernan's daughter, Tracy, watching him on the moon on television. I think it's really cool to just um, to know that I, I'm going to school where these great alumni went and to just be able to know that the people here currently are doing some really cool things too. It just it kind of bridges the gap between like past Purdue alumni and current Purdue students and just all the great things that go on here. It makes me feel so empowered. It makes me feel like I can do anything in the world that I want to do. Although unfortunately I believe we're probably destined to stay home for a while. I truly believe without reservation that we will once again satisfy our insatiable desire to explore. Zach Riddle and Shwanda Yee, Fast Track News.